It's about the drowning death early Sunday of a Bethune Cookman University student have run rampant that the drowning was the result of a hazing incident. Watch 2's Claire Metz reports neither the university nor investigators with beach safety have found any indication of that. Beach safety officers are now calling the death of 22 year old Damien Parks just off Sunsplash Park an accidental drowning. Tragic, yes, friends out for fun and one is lost, but not the result of being hazed. They said a big wave hit and then they, now they can't find one of their friends. Passers by called 911 as a group of Bethune Cookman University students searched the ocean for the victim, who, according to the police report, grabbed onto one of them, yelling to him not to let go. Apparently, the friend lost his grip on the victim, and Damien Parks was swept out. They've been out in the water with lights, and they can't find him anywhere. The student survivors told investigators they were just hanging out at the beach about 3 a.m. Sunday. Parks and another in some five feet of water when they got caught up in a strong current. One of our friends, I'm not sure if he lost his footing in the tide or what, but we can't find him. We were in the water. We weren't outside of the water. Sadly, Parks was found the next morning after his body washed up. Rumors of hazing started soon after. His friends deny that. Investigators and university officials have found nothing to suggest that either. If some new information comes to light, beach safety will address it, but otherwise, their investigation is tentatively wrapped up. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.